Hello. Welcome back to the Underground Channel, and um, this is another part of me building my YouTube uh, um, TV studio with the green screen. So the next step is to uh, take all these wrinkles out, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then when it dries, we'll restretch it, and it should be good to go. It should be nice and tight. So. What you need is a spray bottle, and if it's just any kind of spray bottle, make sure that you rinse it out very, very good, and make sure it's just pure water. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to spray the whole screen evenly, and especially on the wrinkles. So we'll start from the right, and then go to the left, up and down. You want to get it nice and moist, but not saturated wet. Just enough to get the wrinkles all damp on both sides of the wrinkles. If you just do one side, it won't work too well. So we're going up and down with the lines because when you get your green screen from Amazon or or um, eBay or wherever you get it at, it's always folded. So you got to get all the fold marks out and get the everything nice and damp but not saturated wet. Then you want to go along your lines like this, your fold lines, and make sure you get on both sides of the line. So Without making this a, an hour video, I'm going pretty quick. I'm doing the whole screen. And especially in the middle where most of the videos will be. And then kind of feel it. Make sure it's damp and no dry spots. It'll all change the same color when you got it even. Try to keep it the even color. If you got any light spots and you know this not enough water and if they're too dark you know that they're uh, too wet so you just kind of stay out about a foot away from the screen and just give it a good spray over and there we go so we'll let it set for about a minute and go from there <laughs> So the next thing you're going to be wanting is a hair dryer or a heat gun. If you use a really uh, hot heat gun, kind of fill with your hands and just the heat with your hand, but don't burn yourself, okay? Um, so don't try this at home. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> so now it's been probably about a minute. We want to start working our wrinkles out. Get the heat. Now we got it hot. So we go all along all the wrinkles. You don't want to stay in too much in one spot because then you'll turn it brown or it'll burn. And then you'll have that on your videos. Now all the wrinkles ain't going to come out the first time, especially the creases. The fold creases so you might have to repeat steps over again and do it again and it might take you two tries in some cases depending on how thick the, the material is or what kind of material you got uh, you might have to do it three times but you can see they're starting to come out a little bit I think I might have to do this twice And before you do it the second time, let it dry for about a half an hour and re-stretch it and form it to the shape that you want it or however wide you want it. Now if it stretches a little bit, in all actuality it should shrink, but if it does stretch a little bit, you can fold it in and still make your lines uh, nice and straight and tight. 
That crease will take a couple of times. The little ones are coming out. But you can use your pins to re-stretch it and keep stretching it until you finally got it so tight and straight and all the wrinkles out that uh, it will come out just fine in the end. And like I said in my previous video, I'm going to be uh, turning this whole end of the attic upstairs on the third floor into a YouTube t TV studio. So far, I've, if you watched the first part, the first video, I only have $100, maybe a little less, invested. So mainly, wherever you're going to be doing your video, you definitely want all the wrinkles out so you don't have no shadows from the wrinkles. These are coming out nicely, but still, it's going to take two times. So what I'll do is, after this, after I get the whole screen done, as you can see in the middle, it's coming out nice. After I do the rest of the screen, I will uh, take these uh, pens that I got, green pens, and stretch it out some more, all different directions, and get it perfectly flat. And then I will uh, wet it again for a second time, and then dry it. And if there's any wrinkles in there again, which I don't think there will be, I will uh, have to do it a third time. So this is how you uh, take care of your green screen and uh, how you mount it to the wall if you watched the first video. So I hope this helps you and gets you started and gives you some ideas on how to build your TV, radio, station, studio in, in one of your rooms of your house or your attic or maybe in your basement or your garage. And if you got any great ideas, leave a comment, but be sure to subscribe and to uh, click the like and the little bell so that every time I get to the next stage of my project, a building a TV studio, and as you know, I'm doing the walls and the ceiling because I got a planetarium experiment that I'm going to do that I think is going to be pretty far out. <laughs> And it'd be just like being outdoors, and except I'm in the comfort of my home with the screen and no bugs getting in and out, and it'd be just like you're out camping. Be pretty cool for your kids or or whatever. So I'm doing it step by step, and I think it's going to be awesome. So without further ado, remember this channel is all about pay it forward. Yeah, you don't have to give people money because once they spend it. They haven't learned nothing <laughs> except to go back and try to get more. And you know how that happens. So anyway, as uh, I get the rest of my studio uh, all hooked up and working and get the um, video editors all working and everything, um, my films will start uh, popping. But I want to do this step by step so that whoever's uh, doing, wanting to do the same thing, they can follow me, get ideas, and give ideas. So use that knowledge that you get in your head. Pay it forward. And um, that gives them uh, a skill. A skill to put food on the table. Maybe they won't lose their home. Provide for their families. And something that they can cherish for the lifetime. And maybe someday they will teach that skill on so basically that's a part of you growing and growing within people so uh, be sure to subscribe and remember love everybody and if you see that little watermark that means I got a text sorry about that um, people been emailing me wanting to know how to do their screen so I'm trying to get it up and they just ain't leaving me alone so I love each and every one of you I even love my enemies and always remember, love everybody. Thank you.